welcome to Mozambique. This is a trip full of firsts. We've not been here before, and to add to the excitement, we have no idea what we're about to hunt. All we know from Manuel, our host, via our old friend Sergio Cuto, who is here on a fact-finding mission, is to bring a big game calibre. That's why Paul has a 375, and not just any 375. It's the only one of its kind in the world. This is the Explorer's Rifle, the first Sako 100 off the production line in Finland, and the first time any production Sako 100 will be used in the field. Good job Paul's had plenty of time to practice with it. It's been out for a little while, but there was only one made, it was like a prototype, which was sent to Denmark. It got caught up in customs or something in Denmark, so we didn't have a rifle for the trip. That rifle was going to land with us about a week before, so it gave us a week to get prepared. But they had to actually build a whole new rifle. But how many shots do you reckon you put through before we actually got on the plane? I put a box, I put 10 bullets through. Um, I zeroed so 10 rounds. 10 rounds. Your 375. Yeah. Before hunting Africa. Yes. Not ideal. If they put a straight paw in my hand, then yes, that wouldn't be clever. The area we are hunting is vast. Three hundred thousand hectares, about the size of the whole county of Lancashire. Manuel and his trackers are the guardians of this wildlife haven. Without them, it would be the poorer for it. And during this trip, we'll show you exactly why. I live my life in nature. I love nature. I love animals. I love what I do. It's a passion. I teach the people around me. Each one has his expertise and um, is a team. We were chatting about things and then he said, we don't do hunting. We do conservation that hunting helps to pay for. And that was very, very true. After a 4.30 a.m. breakfast, Paul heads to the spot where he can zero his new rifle. And, oh yes, with new bullets. The powerhead blade, which of course are okay. lead-free. I hope you've got some uh, ear protection, David, because this is going to boom a little bit. It's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit noisier than our normal uh, calibre size. We don't know how the incredibly hardy African game will take to them, but we have an endorsement from Manuel. Yes, perfect. I'm happy now. I'm happy now. Yeah. So, yeah. With the heavier bullet, you will hit here. With the heavier bullet, yeah? Yeah. So, that's, so you like it 100 meters. I like it like it is. Inch, inch and a half higher at 100. Yeah. And then when you shoot out to 100, 150. You aim where, where you want to hit. In the dinner money, yeah, cool. You are not shooting turtle doves. <laughs> <laughs> you aim where you want. Yeah, yeah. The heavier bullet is slower. Yeah. Spend more time in the barrel. Okay. So the the movement of the barrel after you shoot is to go is up. Yeah. The barrel goes up. So Gives you if the uh, bullet stays more time in the barrel, will hit higher uh, at hundred meter. I learn all the time, eh? Okay. Hey? Brilliant. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Let's go. Do you want me to shoot with a heavy bullet? I, I, I'm pretty sure that you will hit. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm happy now. I'm happy now. With the Zeiss V6 zeroed at 100 metres, Manuel informs us we need meat for camp. As we had zebra kebabs last night, we're looking for something different. Our trackers point out a group of animals grazing in the distance. Among them are Liechtenstein hartebeest. The 
wind was like that. Yeah, yeah. And then yes, it turned. A nice easy one to start with. <laughs> hey. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. So, sack or shoot? Yeah, it works. You had faith, you had good faith. <laughs> Brilliant. That's a fair shot. Fair shot. That's a fair, fair shot. shot. With your a new rifle. New rifle, new round. New round. And, uh, yeah. Big caliber and shooting 213, he said, which I was thinking, oh, yes. So, yeah. That's a lump of a bullet going that way, but he, he said it was going to go. Yeah, away. and uh, yeah, you see, you see the reaction on the animal straight away. Yeah, literally went 10 yards forward, reversed over back, was dead. So, uh, yes. Whew. And it's, a, and it's sh obviously the, the tripod uh, sticks as well, so you're not like in a quad stick situation. <laughs> God, you like to test me. You like to test me, don't you? God. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes, I am yeah, shaking. Yeah, I am sh yeah, I'm shaking. The pressure was on that. I'm afraid there was a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Obviously, last night we had a massive discussion about copper and size of bullet, and and you were keen to use the the new bullet out because it's. I think you're interested in that. Yes, I would. I would like very much to see the result because. Um, for the pictures you that the internet shows yeah, yeah. about the bullets, they are very um, certainly very good. Yeah, you, you're not scared of using copper or no, 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 at no, all. No, no. With the energy that these bullets have, yeah, we can shoot anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you're the one with the experience of these big calibers. Let's do it in other animals, and we will see the <laughs> big, bigger animals. We see. The results, yeah, uh, and uh, then you we make a conclusion. Yeah, <laughs> but till now is good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Very happy, very happy. Rifle, round, and childerly all on song. Good job, as we now know we're testing the Sacco 100 and Blade on Buffalo next. Omar has been skinning and preparing trophies for three decades. He's proud of his work. The buffalo, that one, the sebo. So how long in the salt did you say? Seven days. Seven days in the salt? Yes. One day here? Yes. Other days inside. Then when it get it dry, I'll fold. I'll Done. pack there. <laughs> yeah. this, this. Are, are, are there any easier to do than others? Are they all the same to do or some harder than others? No, no. All the same. All the same, All okay. The same. This is the zebra flat skin. Wow. 
and your work is all over the world. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you. Elan the cake. So will that be for a mount or will that be just for, for someone's wall? For the shoulder, oh, shoulder mount. Shoulder mount, yes. Okay. yes. And how long have you been doing this? To skin? Yes. I started working on safari in 1992. Okay. Yes. 30 years? 30 years. Oh. <laughs> I'm on safari. You're quite good then. Yeah. <laughs> Have a look here. Look, the damage on the heart. Yeah. That's the easy wound of the heart. Right through the top. Right through the top. So see that entrance? Entrance, entrance. Here. Yeah. Huh? That broke up perfect, didn't it? Are you happy with the bullet? So far, so good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is wasted here. Everything has a use. This is the nonsense of the trophy debate. Hides and bones are waste, but here they have a value, and hunting directly and indirectly supports a thousand local people. We have 40 families living directly from the, 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 this company, and around these 40 families, we have around a thousand people that live from the income they make. And the local population, they receive 20% the rent that we pay to the government. This is huge. 20% of all that is huge. So they can make what they were not making in the past. They could not do anything. They had no jobs. They had no income. They couldn't buy or afford to buy anything. And now this company for 18 years, made the change of life of all these people. Photo tourists and their dollars just don't cut it. This is why Sergio has come to Mozambique. He's here to look for hunting opportunities that sit well with his hunting ethos. I'm always looking for something different, natural, the, the, the wild side of things, which I think that if we bring a little bit of hunting into it, we can benefit both sides. Uh, I can, I can bring people that otherwise would be wouldn't find these places, and um, I wanted to do it, and I was invited to do it. So and then I thought, well, what better place than bring the guys from field sports once again, <laughs> so we can show to the wilder, you know, world that yes, there's still places very remote and very honest, you know. So and hopefully we can. Passed that across. With a few hours of daylight left to burn, Manuel wants to return to an area close to where we shot the harder beast, as a buffalo herd had been grazing close by, and he wants a closer look. Let's approach a bit more. On the left of the termite tail, yeah, yeah. yeah. Being this close gives Paul, Sergio and David a sense of what hunting a buffalo will be like. Nothing can prepare them for what they will soon encounter. So tomorrow we hunt buffalo. Yeah. This is not hunting. Next time it's the Sacco Blade versus buffalo. <laughs> Wildfires, the sobering scale of wildlife crime and how hunters are the only line of defence. For more information about the new Sacco 100 due in shops soon and the Sacco Powerhead Blade with smaller calibres coming online soon, go to sacco.fi. If you would like to experience Mozambique in all its raw glory, contact Sergio via his website, sercoutwildharvest.com and there's a link to all of those below.